Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're here at the Claremont Collection. I'm here with Andrew Vogel. Nice to see you, Lou. Vice President of Sales and Marketing, my buddy, and Andrew, tell us a little bit about the Claremont Collection. Where are we at? So the Claremont Collection is a private automobile museum in the city of Chicago. We're an enormous place, actually, about 100,000 square feet, over 300 automobiles on display in a remarkable bit of history in and of itself. The whole museum is a, like automobilia spanning 100 years. It's very cool. Go to ClaremontCollections.org, that's two Ks, Claremont and Collections, uh, and check it out. But for now, Lou's here, and we're going to see some great cars. So with that being said, here's a car I've never seen before. Andrew, what are we looking at? All right, this one is so cool. I love this one too. It's the Broadmoor Sky View. The Broadmoor Hotel outside of Denver, up in the mountains, um, had three cars commissioned by GM. They were built at the factory, and they're huge Cadillac, well, they call them limousines, but it's almost somewhere between a limousine and a bus. It's so big. In 1959, this was so cool. If you showed up at the train station, or the airport, and they picked you up in the Broadmoor Sky View. It was an amazing experience, let's and go. you'll see why. Let's go right to the car. That's what they came for. So I'll grab the camera, as I usually do, and with that being said, look at the size. Andrew, come on back with me. Jump right across. Yeah, no, there we go. Behind you, there you go. Look at the size of this car, and yeah. maybe it doesn't even, like, yeah, it, Pick they, up the they, size. They Can you tough. stand next to it, yeah, Andrew? I'm just going to say, I'm going to run up here. Just run by the front of it. Okay, there's a person, and you can see you could probably fit about 12 of them along the side of this thing. I mean, it's, it's so massive. It's just great. Let's take a look at the front. The front is a 59 Caddy. Um, so the whole car is Cadillac through and through, as I say, factory built, so built on the assembly line. Um, for the most part and then GM took it off the assembly line and customized what started as a Cadillac ambulance chassis so they built these the rough chassis uh, for commercial use and so that's what they used here but instead of all the ambulance features of course um, they made it into a, a, a massive passenger carrier and look at this car I mean, everything you could see by the doors um, we talked a little go Ghostbuster look like type of right. Look at the top of what the top looks like. So you there. have you have twelve passengers and can actually carry an extra three. You see, this is a convertible seat in the back, mm -hmm. so you can actually do fifteen passengers here. Wow! And then it would have had ski racks on top for all the skis and luggage. Keep going. The entire thing was designed. Uh, to transport passengers in comfort and style and give them a remarkable view of the Rockies as they went. So this was, not only was this an amazing bit of, of, of body work here, but with the skylights on top, it, it gave people an opportunity to see the mountains all the way to the hotel. And there were just celebrities, probably after celebrities who've been in these to, to ride in this car. So, and it's got kind of this rocket-like back-end taillights to it. Very the, 59, you know. The Broadmoor sky view. So, as I said, there are three of these were made. This is the only one that remains that we're aware of. The condition inside is remarkable, too. Stand next to that door for a moment, if you would, please. Look at... So... Let so, me kind of give you a perspective. So, I'm, I'm six feet tall and... 230 pounds. I mean, I'm, I'm not a small guy, but this car is massive. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's absolutely spectacular. I love, look at the little Broadmoor Skyview emblem in the car. Let's right. take a look at just kind of what you're getting into here. Andrew, please help me with the jump seat there. Right. So here's how this works. I'm going to block your view. Yeah, no, no, you're doing great. So this comes up this way. Right? Or the whole the seat can just fold this way to gain access to the back. And there's these ashtrays and kind of these seats here. And look at the ceiling, what it looks like when you're sitting in there. And you look out the front window if you're in the back. And we'll take a look at the interior on the other side too, so we could see see that. give you another perspective 
And even this car, seeing it here today at the Claremont Collection, you wouldn't get this view because once we get done videoing this car, it's going to be put back, and I'm calling it a corner. It's really more like put back in its wall. <laughs> All right. And and after it's put back in its wall, you won't be able to do some of the things or see some of the things we're doing here. But it's just gorgeous. The interior is wonderful. All 1959. Now the dashboard here, different than most Cadillacs in the day in that it's all hand-stitched leather, fully oh, leather cover, yeah, look at that. which was unusual. To say the least, now, not even the El Dorados of the day came with a leather dash. Check that out. And this light right there. And the... You know, I'm also noticing something that's kind of interesting with this Cadillac is it's really radio delete. Yeah. I mean, you don't think of a Cadillac with no radio. No, again, we see in the in the whole instrument panel, the dashboard, th this whole driver's area here, that it's the utilitarian sort of ambulance chassis. Yeah, kind of right, right, there. right. Let's take a look under the hood. I want to show you these, these white walls too. The emblems. Beautiful grill there. We've got wonderful light on this. And you can see this body over here. It's a big old beast of a V8, of course. Can you see that well enough there? Yeah, I think I can. I should pull, pick it up. Well, that's not a good sign. Model number 666. <laughs> maybe, maybe, so, maybe the reason why they didn't last too long. So maybe this is why it reminds me of a Ghostbuster. Yeah, movie. right, the Ghostbuster <laughs> car. Look at the horns. Model number 666, especially for the, for the bubble top, for the sky view. Let's start her up. Yeah, let's get her going. While we can still breathe. Yeah. <laughs> Come on in. And we're gonna I'm just gonna feature that little Cadillac logo there. And we'll shut the hood. And get this one on this side too, just that logo like that. That was a lot of sheet metal, if you heard that. That, that is <laughs> that a lot of sheet metal. metal taper there. Andrew, let me have you stand right next to it. There she is. There she is. Yeah. What a beautiful, massive ride coming down the street. You absolutely wouldn't miss that. You got to feel like an absolute king being inside that. <laughs> right. So, captain of the yacht. Captain of the yacht, exactly. <laughs> captain of your ship. Yeah. Andrew, thanks again for showing us such a unique car at the Claremont Collection. You bet. Great to see you always.